Hey, it's Michael with Third Gen Garage. Today I'm gonna to be working on cutting out the holes for the fog light bezels, which I'm not even using for fog lights, but we're gonna be doing some ducting to the intake. First things first, we need to get the bumper off. So I'm just gonna get this off right like that. So now that we have it off, I'm gonna take a look back here because I keep hearing that there are markings back here that show a very light, extremely light, microscopic level of detail when it comes to a template for cutting out these fogs because apparently this was a dealer option that never came like this so every bumper should have markings to cut them i'm going to get to cleaning this up a little bit and see if i can find those markings all right well i guess i stand corrected because after wiping these down i do see markings on the bumper i'm gonna go ahead and get a close-up now and probably grab some pictures too and post this up because i was looking for any sort of picture or video showing these markings just so i knew what i was looking for and i guess it's easier to be like just take off the bumper and check for yourself but it is nice to get a look at it before you dive into a project so if i can help anybody else out by having these pictures and video posted i'm gonna do that so let me get some close-up shots of this this is without any of the cleaner that i was using when you have the cleaner on it really shows up but right in the center of the screen there's one of the x's that they talk about that center point is where you drill out for one of the holes if you look this this is this is probably where you can see it the best but that arch right there right in the center of the screen that are dots kind of scribed into a circle that's going to be your cutout for the actual fog lights themselves it goes all the way around although it gets super light there you can see a little bit better yeah now that i see them i'm feeling a little bit better about uh, cutting into this thing same thing goes for the other side ah that's actually shot pretty pretty good i think there's the circle and you can see the x's Let's get these cut out. What I'm going to be doing first is marking them out with the Sharpie, just so I can make sure to follow the line because I could see it now, but as I'm cutting, I want to make sure that I have good visibility on that. I'm probably going to be using a Dremel with a fiberglass cutoff wheel. And of course, just for the, the holes for the X's, I'll just use a drill bit for that. Yeah, uh, here goes nothing. All right, with the exception of doing the uh, retainer clips, I would say that this is basically done as far as installation. I had to keep trimming to make sure that it fits because if you don't have this fully um, trimmed out, it won't sit flush against the bumper. You can go right up to that line and you still have room. There's a lot of room for error. Just don't try not to go past the line. But yeah, um, I erred on the side of a little bit too small and had to end up going all the way out to the line. Same thing for this side. Got that one done. Just got to clean it up a little bit, just dust it off, then move on to the next project. Don't forget to put the little retainers in. Yeah. They just slide on like this. There we go. On. Do the same thing for the other side. There we go. All right. That all set up and that one all set up. Okay, now that I got the holes cut and I got the fog light bezels installed, now it's time to work on the ducting. And with that, I made these 3D printed ducts that kind of just push on to the fog light bezel. What I'm gonna be doing is running some tubing coming off of the back of this and going up into that hole that I cut previously. If you saw one of my previous videos, I'll probably put a link up here. The triangle that I cut wasn't big enough for a two and a half inch, that's what this is, two and a half inch uh, pipe to go through, which the pipe doesn't need to go through because I'm going to 3D print another kind of funnel on the opposite end. The problem with that is that it has to come from the top and it has to fit a circle through. What I'm gonna be doing right now is kind of putting this two and a half inch up there, marking out what I need to grind away so that I could fit um, that new uh, piece in, and then grinding that out. Let's get started. I had the triangle piece that I cut out originally, um, and I test fitted against the two and a half inch circle, and it was actually smaller than it, but apparently I had 
took a grinder to this and made the hole bigger after I cut it out. So what I'm left with is the ability to fit the two and a half inch in there. So really, all I need to do is take a picture and or um, like make a template of this cutout and take that inside and start designing it. So yeah, I just folded this piece of paper and I'll use this as a reference. It just comes right out. It's like, I'm gonna use that as a reference for that hole. I also took a picture fairly straight so that I could use that also as a template and I'm gonna go model this right now. It's the next morning I got some parts printed. I made that triangle piece into a funnel. So got that to install and I also made a blank. So this is gonna go on that driver's side and press fit on and then I'm just gonna run like some probably some silicone on there to keep it tacked on. It really shouldn't take much because those pieces press onto there and they kinda like they're they're on there pretty good. Let's get started. All right, I haven't tried this yet because I just barely pulled this off the printer this morning, but this should fit on and I'm looking for it to go like, like that. Yeah, yeah, it fits pretty nice on there. I need to take off this headlight now. Now for this piece, um, let's see, it goes just like that and it should fit in here. Not bad, not bad at all. That's the piece that I made. The fitment on that isn't too bad even though the metal itself isn't a flat surface. Right now, I'm gonna put the headlight in and then run this tubing like that over to the duct after I um, put the bumper back on. All right, I may or may not have to take off the wheel to do this, but um, I'm gonna try with the wheel on. All this stuff to do now is zip tie it. I have it, I have the pipe slipped up there. I was gonna cut this extra off, but it might come in handy when I pull the bumper off to not have it completely as short as possible. And then it's routed down to the front. I might still um, shorten it just a little bit so that it doesn't go down because I'm kind of worried about water gathering right there. I added a little bit of ducting tape just to the edges, just to tack it down a little bit. Seems to have helped. I can tell you right now by trying to cut this stuff that it's pretty tough. There's a metal wire inside and the plastic itself is, is pretty hard to cut with a razor blade, surprisingly. I have no reason to believe that this isn't gonna hold up for the long run. So I did cut it shorter. All I did was use a razor blade to trim it and then I had to use a Dremel to actually cut the wire because it's pretty thick. So that my hose ran. Um, I actually had to cut the metal um, wire inside so that I can get the zip tie to even crimp down on, on this. That's how like sturdy that wire is. That is just pressed on. Um, I need to get in there with some zip ties, but um, that is probably gonna be a little harder. I don't know. I might have to go with a different type of clamp, but uh, right now it's on there, but other than that, that's what it looks like. And here's the other side, just a blank. All right, whoa. Okay, so that's the end of this video. I. Got the car back together, as you can see. But yeah, that's the finished product. I'll have a link down below for the tubing that I got. I don't know if anybody would need that, but it's what I used. This is going to be a trial run for these intake ducts. I've seen them offered for MB2s, but MB2 fog lights mount differently than MB1 fog lights, where they actually have mounting holes molded into the bumper. We don't. Our fog lights mount from a separate bracket that's mounted to the chassis somewhere in there. I don't know for sure, because I don't have them but I've, I've done some research on them. I've seen that the MB1 fog lights mount from the side and don't 
attached directly to the bumper where the MB2 uh, fog lights do actually have bolt holes molded into the bumper. So if this is something that MB1 owners might be interested in, I'm really thinking about producing these and offering them up uh, for sale on my website. But for now, I'm really just trying to gauge interest as well as testing them out because I want to make sure that they're not going to fall off or anything like that or I don't know, melt. I am using ASA filament, um, which should withstand UV and heat. Anyway, if you like these, uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. If you like this mod, you might want to consider subscribing because I'll have more stuff just like it. Um, if not, at least leave me a thumbs up. That I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.